guys, I'm Krigo, and this is the Patriarch's home, right, in Wasteland 3. Let's talk to the big guy, because we did capture his son, right? And uh, I'm rather curious about it all. Let's see how it goes from here, and then uh, we are going after Liberty in this episode. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Uh, yes, we are ready to make the, uh, a report, indeed. Tell me. We have dealt with your son a victory. Dealt with? How? We captured him, of course. Whoa. He's done enough damage as it is. He was my heir, if you can believe it, until I realized he was never going to grow out of hurting people. How can you grow into that to begin with and then expect someone to grow out of it, though, huh? Exiling him was the best of two bad options. The families wanted his head. Still, anyway, I promised you a reward. Here it is. Now, what else? We have had some questions. Talk then. We've learned that the trembling of your hand is the shaking palsy. My hands don't shake. First eight nine. The disease will only get worse, Saul. It will lead to mental decline, dementia. No, no, no. I don't need some muscle headed mercenaries giving me medical advice. I have doctors for that. Now drop it. We heard you have a secret prison somewhere in Broadmoor High, uh, Hades, or Hides, where you keep political prisoners. Is this true? <laughs> that rumor just keeps coming back year after year. I have no need for secret prisons, Rangers. All prisoners in Colorado stay in ordinary jails. Mm-hmm. As you can see, we can clearly not trust this big guy, huh? And if your baseless suspicions lead you to go snooping around this lovely neighborhood, bothering my finest citizens, I'll put you in one. Understood? Of course he's the leader. He has to act tough. Uh, have you thought about what will happen to Colorado after you're gone? Why? Are you getting ideas? It just seems as you are not planning to pass the job to your children. It might be time to consider another successor. I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. Mm-hmm. Well, let's Bye. back up. Uh, we have been hearing some troubling things about you. There are always complainers. What is it now? Nilius Dorsey says you and Parsifal Wesson purged his family for advocating democracy. Nilius, I always planned to turn this nation over to the people when it was stronger. But Nilius refused to wait. He called for revolution, turned family against family, weakened us. I couldn't allow that. The survival of Colorado is more important than one family. Or one idea. We've heard some more troubling things about you. You expect me to care more this time than I did last time? What's the complaint now? Uh, absolutely not, though, but it tells us about your personality, right? Or about your character, to be honest. We heard you've been arming the warlords of the plains and letting them prey on settlements outside Colorado. I don't let them do anything. I only pay them not to do it to Colorado. If arms are the only payment they accept, what am I supposed to do? You should take them out before arming them so they become stronger and stronger. But the settlements in the plains are suffering. You, you, your people believe you defeated the warlords on the battlefield. And what do you think brought those warlords to the table? But the people don't want to hear stories about treaties. They want to hear stories about victories. So stories about victories are what I give them. That's kind of bad though. Because if a population knows that the enemy is at the gate the population is training you know to defend themselves uh we found a peak action figure here in the palace know anything about it never seen it it's got the initials sb carved on it sounds like Saul Buchanan. you sure hmm. guess that is mine my pa gave it to me when i was a kid passed it down to vic but never saw him play with it Never saw it again, in fact. I had a matching poke toy, too. They fit together on a little stand. I'm sure Vic lost that one, too. You expect me to care more? We were told that you are sending time. criminals to the godfishes as human sacrifices. Now. Yeah. 
Better that than having the godfishers raiding our outlying farms, isn't it? I'm protecting the law-abiding people of this nation, and ridding it of the people who break those laws at the same time. I call that a win-win. And yes, I know this is not something an honorable leader would do, but I will do anything, Rangers, anything, to keep my people safe. Honor be damned. Understand me? Hmm. We found the poke action figure in Aspen. Does it match the peak one we already have? Huh. Never thought I'd see those two together again. Think I still got the stand somewhere. I'll send it over to Ranger HQ so you can show them off. Here's a little something for finding them. Brings back a lot of memories. Alright, awesome though. Just I one mean... second. I want to congratulate you for getting things running again in Steel Town. Abigail Markham praised your efforts. You did good work there, Rangers. You've given Colorado a more hopeful future. Thank you, Rangers. <laughs> this one directly shows up, right? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, man. This is a beautiful build, though, right? It does. Marine bonus, 20%. 50%, so that's 35. And 50%. My lord, 50% more melee damage. I kind of feel like rocking this boat right now, you know? Ay, 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 ay. I mean, that would be real fun, wouldn't it be? Look at that. It's a very cool build too, to be honest. Ay, 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 ay. Shall we try it? I kind of feel like that will be fun, to be honest. <clears throat> I mean, at the same time, it will be incredibly silly. Back, Rangers to do so actually right if you think about it it will be incredibly silly but uh why not why not because i mean you know like silly running against a machine like 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 30 times your size but it will be very fun at the same time you know to run in someone's shotgun line <laughs> you know just like hammer time bitch you know <laughs> Well, off to Liberty Buchanan we go. I wish we could, you know, there's an option. If you do send your prisoners, you know, like the Dorseys and uh, Brago to the Marshall Prison, they actually do love you. And we have not done that. Uh, I did not think about it uh, ahead of time. But then they might actually side with you, huh? Ah, famous rangers again. Look nuts again. So long, Rangers. All right. So, yeah, you know, that is that. Um, and then you can actually convince the marshals, the refugees, uh, well, the people, actually, of uh, the common wasteland, and the hundred families to convince the patriarch to step down. That is the best solution there is, actually. Fibus. Gazes. Gob say you smash good. Need strength. This my stuff. Chibus actually sells the Ripper, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, Ripper, Ripper, Ripper. Cyber Fist. That is quite cool, though. Melee damage plus 10%. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome to have right now, though? That would be really awesome to have right now, to be honest. To turn herself into a cyborg, big boy. But the Ripper, the Ripper, the Ripper. Well, he has a chance of selling it, though. Oh, well. You know, it is what it is, though. Hmm. Let's leave the big boy for now. Ooh, that's some good money right there, huh? Yuma, Yuma, Yuma County. Do, do, do. Oh, what is this, though? Huh? Enemy spotted. Survival. Avoid the droids. Yeah. We have enough levels on our back, right? That we don't have to worry about anything here. If you mean Ranger Team November, we will read you. Who is this and how are you? What? And how are you on our secure, secure channel? I'm on your side, November. A friend of Saul's, if you know what I mean. And I know where you're headed. Now hear me out. When you get to where you're going, gas up at the garage first. I'll find you there and give you the sit rep. And don't worry, you can't miss it. And how will we contact you, huh? Mm, where exactly do you think we're going? Well, that will be dumb. How will we contact you? I'll contact you. MK1 out. Okay, that is very odd, though, this message, isn't it? The garrets first. Garrets. Do we have a garrets here? Abandoned mail. Oh, it could be this place, right, you know? Ah. 
in my country. Ah, uh, sure, let's go here. A long abandoned racetrack, now used as the muster point for the Plains gang intending to raid Colorado Springs. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Good. Come into the garage ASAP. I'll have my bots tow your car inside before the gang spot it. I don't trust it at all, though. You're the Desert Rangers, right? The ones the Patriarch made a deal with? Hey, <laughs> good to see you. Been hoping you'd show up. Patriarch's got a lot he wants done here, and we ain't got a lot of time to do it. Now here's the deal. Liberty Buchanan is sitting not 200 yards from here in her compound as we speak. But the way things stand, it would take a tactical nuke to crowbar her out. She's managed to make herself the queen of these heathens, the scar collectors, the payassos, and the last few Dorseys. Even the goddamn godfishers are licking her boots. Now, there ain't no way even a crew as tough as you could fight their way in and bring her out alive like the Patriarch wants. But I got a plan. Uh, slow down a minute. Why don't we start with who the fuck are you? Wait, who are you? Nobody told you about me. Heh. <laughs> Typical. I'm the mechanic. Now, that means I fix things, right? For the gangs, it's cars, and they trust me because I fix them good. But my real job is fixing things for the Patriarch. Like putting sand in the gas tank of Liberty's coop before it gets on the road. That's why he sent me out here. You get it? Can we get down to business now? How did you manage to survive when Liberty killed so many of the Patriarchs or the spies? <laughs> How do you think I gained her trust? Oh my, you betrayed them? Oh my god, though. But, wow. He didn't have to do that, right? Maybe she didn't find out either way, right? You sent other spies to their deaths to secure your own position? That's the uh, despicable, indeed. Hey, I'm willing to be the bad guy if that's what the job calls for. Are you? Now, have I passed your little test? Not sure if you're such a fixer. What do you need us, uh, us for? Simple. If I get caught trying to sabotage things, how long is it going to take the Patriarch to sneak another spy in here? Too long. That's how long. Liberty will already be knocking on his front door. But if you get caught, I'm still here, and the Patriarch can send another gang of expendable muscle heads to do the dirty work. Got it? Expendable muscle heads, huh? Life fine, we're here to do what the Patriarch wants, uh, uh, wants. Tell us what the plan. Nice to know what you think of us. What's the plan, though? If that's how you feel about us, then fuck you. We've got plans of our own. We're not working for the Patriarch anymore. Then we are, uh, then we are working for Cordite. We've got our own plans. Oh my, let's go for the first one. Okay, okay, listen. The gangs may be loyal to Liberty, but they hate each other's guts. All you need to do is get each gang thinking the others are screwing them somehow, and this place will go up like an ammo dump in a firestorm. The payasos and the godfishers are ready to go at each other's throats. They just need a little nudge. As for the scar collectors, they're as like to turn on themselves as they are on anyone else. What I'd do is talk to their slaves. They've always got dirt on all the infighting. I got a key to the pen they're kept in as a, huh, a gift. Take it. See what you can find. Maybe turn them against each other. That's a gift, huh? To get the ladies that he wants. So, you've got no intel for us. What kind of spy are you? Hey, the intel changes day to day. Anything I got yesterday ain't gonna be current today. You're gonna have to do your own snooping. I can give you the broad strokes, but the nitty gritty is up to you. Who do you want to know about? The scar collectors, the payassos, the godfishers? You didn't mention the Dorseys. Ah, eh, forget about the Dorseys. They're Liberty's personal bodyguards now. They never come out of the compound and they never deal with the other gangs. Except to execute some fool who tries something stupid. You're gonna have to fight the Dorseys no matter what. 
You just want them to be the only ones you fight, right? Maybe. Okay, we're all good. We'll good. check it out. Yeah, sure. Follow we don't the need the information. North and you'll find the gang compound. Just don't get too close to the front gates. The sentries will attack anything that gets too close. Gleefully. And listen, if you need any ammo, weapons, or supplies, talk to me. I get paid in trade, so I got plenty of gear. So is what you got? Oh, oh, oh. Just like Christmas. Ah, reference to, uh, you know, the brain rot. First aid station, craft the ball, plasma grenade, always nice. Ce uh, uh, wow, cerebral modem? That's kind of cool, though. Look at that, man, you know, that's some extra buffs here and there. Uh, plasma fist, interesting. Oh, the prototype X. Well, you know, it is what it is right now. I think we're... Uh, oh, plasma hammer. There's some nice stuff around here. We might get some extra stuff over here, too, right, you know? Oh, we had it like that one scope. Everything else is just what it is. All right, I think we want to give you this one uh, right now. Or wait a minute. Yeah, confirm. Let's see. I think hers is a little bit better already. Yeah, let's go with this. And it does way more damage right now. All right, beautiful. And beautiful. So, what we want to do is probably use a lot of stealth again. The only thing that we have to do is be careful. Someone stacked several red cars and topped it with a torch. Party on, Wayne. Party on. Okay. Seems like we gotta be very careful around here, though. This is an arena, clearly. Junk pile. Do they smash up cars in there? Cool. Yeah, man. Destruction Derby. Hmm. Charm anymore? I'm not sure it's a normal fox, apparently, but it's a little bit shiny, right? Yeah, we got some gold, boys. cannons we gotta be careful for those and that's the side way huh somewhere around here must be somewhere around here are those people slaves that that's awful it is giant bison i kind of would love to have that as a little pet though right now but we don't have to, we don't have to. There's a toaster there. More gold though, more gold again. Uh, a little teddy bear. Oh, a little teddy bear has actually more than enough for us. And this is, this is trouble right now. We kind of want to go through here. Come on! Why did you attack that freaking dumbass? He was just staring there. He was just staring there, man. I mean, how silly is that though? It's bleeding and it's on fire. Lee's Corrigo has tons and tons of HP, man, you know, and an armor, like 69 armor, my dudes. That's that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's the difference though. Ay 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 ay. Yeah. Ooh boy. Oh. I mean, that's real nice right there though that are also our two little pets right you know let's get some help here nice and right over here we cannot do anything okay now let's see though the power of our sword seven oh my lord yo that's beautiful uh, now you want to work together out of reins no way Oh, well. Now, let's see, though. Earthquake. We should also try that one. We could go with the Demor uh, Demoralize. Jesus, you're a mess. 
Oh, yes, it is. And right here. You should have actually gone for the legs, but oh well, you know. More bleeding, the better it is. Woo-wee! Nice shots, girl. Nice shots indeed, though. All right for the leg. So if it turns, down you go. All right, Yuri, you do not have anything negative on you. So that's a beautiful thing right now. I have to say, though, I'm quite impressed with Kurigo. He is a tanky big boy. Vehicle part unlocked and Bison skill. Always nice. Let's see right over here. This workbench is arrayed with every tool you could ever need to break down death scenes and robots. Then build new tech from uh, the spores. Okay. Those to repair. Bikini heat. Three. Fee he has. Oh my. Is that a real cover? That's a real cover though. And that's a blonde in a bikini with some mermaid stuff. The cardboard slippery co uh, slip cover of the V8 team has been carefully stored for ages. The blonde locks on the female lead still glisten in the sun. Screenplay by Chopper Lang. Alright, I mean, sure. Oh, that's the slave right there. The door's open. Where? He'll just catch us like always. Leave me alone. Okay. Not sure why the camera went off there, but okay. Redstone, here we are, big dude. The slave turns at, uh, at the sound of your footsteps and you see that he's blind. Blades are almost ready, masters. I just need... He pauses, then sniffs the air. You're not the masters. Too clean smelling. Who are you? We're the Desert Rangers here to take down the gangs. Who are you? <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> who are you, really? Just passing through, who are you? We're new here, trying to join up. Who are you? They call me Whetstone now. <laughs> used to be boss slave and chief head knocker at the company store. <laughs> but then I lost my eyes. <laughs> and now I make blades for the masters. <laughs> Hmm, can we bury any of your blades? Anything we should know about Steel Trap if we if we want to get in good with the Scar Collectors? <laughs> don't make fun of him. And don't make him jealous. Or you'll end up disappeared like Cordite and D-Sharp. Hmm. Can we bury any of your blades? Steel Trap made Cordite disappear. He always says Cordite ran away, but... I was working at the company store the night he disappeared, and I saw him put something in Cordite's drink. Shanghai, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's why I lost my eyes. The steel trap said I should stop seeing things. Who is D-Shop indeed? She used to run the company store, the bar where the overseers drink. I sang there too. Funny songs about Steel Trap sometimes. It, it, he didn't like that. He didn't like that the boys all laughed. So one night, poof, she's gone. Oh boy. I told the SCs she ran away just like Cordite, but I still had my ears. I heard Steel Trap come into the bar. I heard him drag her out. Don't know what he did with her, but she didn't just run away. Do the Scar Collectors know Steel Trap took D? You kidding? They cut him up for jerky if they knew. Everybody loved D. Searched for her for weeks. They swore vengeance on, on whoever took her. Never found her though. He must have buried her deep. Wow. Uh, did you tell anyone about Dee's abduction? Not any scar collectors. <laughs> Don't want to lose my ears too. Can we burn any of your blades? Not supposed to, but. He pauses and sniffs the wind, and then leans in. Steel trap says I'm only supposed to sell to the scar collectors, but. 
he's a bad master, so why not? That's my boy. Let's see what you have All for right. sale. <laughs> Just keep an eye hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. while you're looking. Okay. Oh, nice power armor helmet stuff. Ooh we might be poor, we might be poor, but let's buy this. Uh, initiate detection time. Oh, that's good stuff, man. That's some serious good stuff, though. I like both of them quite a lot. Okay, everybody has uh, power armor except Yodi and Kwon. Um, Kwo yeah. Well, that's that's enough, right? You know. Yeah, you know. Uh, but he has more armor than he had before. That's very important too. Stitches. They call me Stitches. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Really? You need some stitching? Oh, uh, you passed for a doctor? I, uh, was an assistant to a doctor. I watched her cut a lot of legs off, so I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Yeah, sounds uh, very trustworthy, though, by the way. Why do the, why do you heal the people who enslave you? Duh, because they'll kill me if I don't. You got a head wound or something? Hmm, thanks for the sure. info. Come back if you're bleeding. Yeah, At least I, you know what the rules are. With that Chirito, you never know what's I right think we might actually skip wrong. it, right? You know? Now, you now let's see. We have some people around here still. Slip, 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 slip. Blah, blah, blah. Petsy and not yet skins. Well, that's a beautiful name. Somebody coming. Who are you? Um, sounds like you don't like your masters. Who says so? We didn't say nothing. You're trying to get us in trouble. We don't like them either. We're looking to make them turn on each other. Know anything uh, that might do that? What's in it for us? Yeah, they'll kill us if they find out we talk to you. So it better be something good. Uh, hard as eight. How about we don't tell your masters what you have been saying about them? Does that work for you? We could set you free. Set us free? <laughs> when? How? Where are we going? Are there jobs there? Food? Can you take our friends too? There's at least 200 of us. Try again, Abraham Lincoln. We need stuff we can use right now. Well, 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 ten dollars. How about cash? Fuck yeah. Whoa, we really that simple, huh? Let's see. What can we tell you? The two slaves whisper together for a moment, then turn back to you. Okay, listen up. The Chirito's mad because his number two guy, Cucaracha, disappeared a few days ago. He thinks he might have ran off or something. But I saw the godfishers fly a new kite around the same time. And the body hanging from it had clown paint on the face. Also heard that Star the Dreams had some fool killed for messing with one of his wives. Maybe it's all connected, huh? Thanks for helping us mm. out. Naughty, naughty ladies, right, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Dorsey Hunter. Hey, what the? Ask these motherfuckers. Why? What's you storm forward, you clown? Damn, dude. Maybe we have to do that anyways, right? Maybe. Maybe. We actually should try that out. I'm feeling uh, mighty guilty right about now. Yeah, I kind of think we have to do it that way, right? You know? I kind of think indeed. Now, to be honest, here we go. Here we go. Well, apparently we do not start with Kurigo because we don't have any, uh, how shall I say, you know, like sneaky shit going on. And of course we are dying here. Wow. Wow. They always go for Yodi, huh? You're fighting deer? I mean, that's kind of cute. Ah, the Payaso's uh, clown stuff there. Friendly turn. Nothing, of course, because they cannot go through here. Friends? Wait a minute, where are you going? Alrighty then, I suppose. Alrighty. Ay, 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 ay. Peggy, 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 you gotta heal the big boy up there. Ah. No, what are you doing? Oh my god, things are not going as planned, right? Not going as planned at all. Hmm. All right, that's that. Come on, Peggy. You better be able to heal Kurigo up. Infinite target. Wait a minute. We oh what? We got fully healed. Okay, I do appreciate that though. Quite a bit though. Wow, no damage. 
Damage armor only. That's about it. Oh, and it looks spectacular, though, I have to say, right? It really does look very, very spectacular. I see. Lots of them. Payaso. Payaso trickster and so on and so forth. This is going to be kind of blunt, though. Maybe we should not have gone here just yet, right? It does not make sense if these guys are attacking us on site. Yeah, I don't trust it. Let's reload because I kind of want to see how it turns out that we turn everybody against one another. Sounds like a whole lot more fun in the end, right? Patriarch's Museum. Could be, right? It could be. Oh, what do we have here? Diggable already. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We are looking here. Uh, that's the company store. Good, good, good. Hmm. Not sure what we might find in here. Beta mixtape. Wow, besides a few dents, this beta mixtape is in good condition. Holds damned recordings of Steel Trap and Liberty. Damned recordings, huh? Scout Collector. And oh, yeah, we got another one. Chest armor piece. Very lovely, very lovely. All right, now let's see. We got something over here. Roadhouse. I'm not sure if we want to go through the entrance here. Yeah, blot everything over here. Broken part. Yeah, scattered Looks cyborg like glimpse. And signs of struggle in the snow. Whoever was jumped here put up a hell of a fight. All blood and drag marks lead north or west. Is this proof of these kidnapping? Maybe, baby. Okay. Yeah, this is what we want, right? You know. Hmm. Minecart tracks. Yeah, and mine traps, indeed. Minecart tracks and mine traps. Oh, something over there. Things are going rather smooth, though. That's a lot of bunnies, man. I did not expect bunnies to survive by these gangs, to be honest. He might be very... Oh, oh, oh. He might be very hungry. We got a diggable right in here. That's also very interesting. Hmm. Did he really want to spoil us right with some good loot right now? Scar collectors. Guarding the mine. Of course they are. Defeat the scar collectors inside their mine. We might just be doing so. And this is the mine, or is the mine around here? Oh, that could be here, right? You know, we might have a, a nice, secure little force over here. Ah, oh, door open. It is alarm too. So let's set that beautiful thing up. Lock picking. Yes, disarm the alarm. Whoa, why is it in Russian though? Why is it in Russian, I wonder? Is that a security terminal there? I think it is though, but why is it in Russian once again? Sneaky shit, let's just uh, take that one off just just to be sure. Okay, there we go security terminal but also let's check oh look at that though we got another toaster oh my what is this okay incinerator corpse what what's up with this guy oh soviet uh, sec pass mission critical item a plain plastic key card labeled in russian your guess is it it provides top level access in the soviet space station and bottle cap flag oh ho ho Those repair and what do we have here? The real blood staff. Wait, again from Wasteland One? The actual real real blood staff. Blunt weapon. It might be an interesting weapon. Uh you know what? Let's go carry that around as my second one, right? You know, why not indeed?
And let's go check this one out. I do smile quite a bit, though, for that easter egg. The console screen flickers all its readabouts. Commands are in a Cyrillic lettering. Nerd stuff. Nine. Use our... What? Use a root kit to examine the terminal's source code. With a few keystrokes, you gain access to the source code and discover a ma uh, mass program labeled adresamus.exe. It appears to be a front end for use of Soviet agents working in the United States. As the software boots, the screen changes from grim yellow to uh, text to red, white and blue. Compl uh, complete with the animated American flag, the command prompt appears again in English. The screen offers access to the automated security systems and the log of Pot Paul uh, Kovnik uh, Gagarin, station commander. Secure controls, etc. Type 1 and recalibrate the station security drones targeting to protect the current user. As a target... Oh, we got some robots here. Protocols uh, execute doors around the room open. We're feeling several deadly looking security drones. Most seem uninterested in you. But one moves close and seems to follow your movements. Okay, then. Type 2 and examine the station logs. Okay, yeah. Entry. Uh, recording Earthrise was especially beautiful today. We continue to monitor the construction of the Citadel uh, Star Station as ordered. The project is dangerously close to completion. These NATO pigs will have far too much power if it becomes fully operational. Sophia Command's plan to remove it will become clear soon. I am sure. Wow, um, the Starbase is actually based Cochise AI, right? Was installed on it. The Citadel uh, Star Station is gone, or Telemetry picked up a meteor shower and he did nothing to move out of the way. I knew the Americans and their capitalist uh, cronies in NATO were stupid, but this is beyond belief. He just sat there and allowed the most powerful piece of technology in orbit to be obliterated, awaiting orders. Yep, that was planned by the base uh, uh, Kochi's AI, like he mentioned in Wasteland 2. In the latest one, it has happened. Nuclear war. The Americans have no doubt blaming us for Citadel Star Station. Those fools, they have ended the world. Such hubris. We can see the contrails of the ICBMs flying from the motherland to North America and Europe. Hundreds of bright white lines drawing across the sky below. And dear God, just as many flying back to home. We will not float idly above and watch our homeland burn. We will inflict a strike on the Americans ourselves. The body of this station will come crashing down on NORAD and demolish the last refuge for the capitalist oligarchy. Uh, Dosvidenia, uh, uh, Tovarishni, wow. something like that, right, you know? And then read entry. We have failed. A missile launched directly from Siyan Mountain caught us on our final burn. We have no propulsion and will crash off target in but a few seconds. My only satisfaction comes from knowing that America is burned and gutted. Nothing will survive here. Nothing. Oh, well, he's kind of wrong, bro. We're kind of wrong, though, indeed. And there we go, boys. Well, you know, for my next recording, I'm going to require a drink, man. I cannot even pronounce the eight things correctly anymore. So, yeah. But that's, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys then. Stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.